Hi guys, this is Lore and welcome to today's video where you're going to learn how to make a beautiful DIY mesh cover up skirt to wear with your bikinis or to create a very sexy outfit like this. For the materials I use 3 meters or 3.3 yards of black mesh fabric. 2 inch white elastic for the waistband. In this case I use 27 inches of elastic and you will need less or more depending on your waist measurement. Also 6 inches or 15 centimeters of a solid black 4 way stretch fabric. And sewing tools such as thread, pins and scissors. I made a PDF checklist for you to use along with this video. You can download it for free from the blog to help you track your progress and to follow the instructions with ease and at your own pace. I will leave the link in the description box below. For this skirt, there is no need to draft a pattern. You can start cutting directly on the fabric. First, I cut off the selvage edge to eliminate the little creases in this part. And then I cut two squares that measure 57 by 57 inches. My height is 5'3 and with these measurements the length of the skirt reaches my ankles. If you are taller your squares can be larger. Or if you want a shorter skirt you can cut smaller squares. To create the waistband I put the elastic around my waist. And mark with a pen when I feel it is adjusting comfortably. From this little mark I added 2 cm or 3 quarters of an inch for seam allowances and then cut it. With the other black stretch fabric I cut a rectangle to cover the elastic. The wide of this rectangle is 2 times the wide of your elastic plus 3 quarters of an inch for seam allowances. For example, in this case I'm using a 2 inch wide elastic. It will be 2 times 2 which is 4 inches plus the seam allowances we are gonna have a total of 4 inches and 3 quarters of an inch. I mark this measurement along the fabric to start drawing a rectangle. And the length of this piece is going to be the same as the elastic I cut using my waistline measurement. Once you have drawn the rectangle, cut following the lines. To continue with the waistband, place the two ends of the elastic together. Overlap by 3 eighths of an inch, then sew the two ends down with a zigzag stitch. Fold this black fabric rectangle in half and pin the edges together with the right sides of the fabric facing each other. Then sew using a 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Turn the right side out and fold it in half like this. Then, slip your elastic inside the waistband. The elastic should be sandwiched between the folded sides of the waistband and as close to the folded edge as possible. Then, pin in place all the way around. The free space of 3 eighths of an inch at the bottom will serve as later to join the waistband with the rest of the skirt. Once you finish pinning all around the waistband, sew just below the elastic, making sure you don't catch it while stitching. When you finish stitching, it will look like this. Take the squares of mesh fabric you cut for the skirt and fold them in half. Then fold it once again in half. After folding the fabric in half twice, you will have four layers of fabric overlapping. On the corner where the two folds meet is where you are going to cut the waist hole. To know the exact size for the hole, we need to do a little math. Divide your waist measurement by 6.28. The 6.28 doesn't change, doesn't matter if you are using centimeters or inches. For example, my waist measurement was 67 centimeters, which is like 26 inches and a quarter. And divided by 6.28, it gives me a total of 10.67 centimeters. If you don't like math, you can also use my skirt calculator. In there you just simply type your waist measurement and then hit enter to get automatically the magic number to trace the waistline for square circle skirts like this one and also full and half circle skirts. I will leave the link of where you can get the skirt calculator in the description box below. Start measuring the result and pivoting your measuring tape or ruler at the corner. 
mark the same measurement many times between the edges like this. Then join the dots to create the inner curve for the waistline. Pin in place and cut along the curved line. Once you have done this on the first fabric square, to cut the waistline on the second square, you can follow the same steps of measuring between the edges or you can use a corner cut from the first square to use it as a guide. Use pins to hold everything in place and then cut. After this, lay the two squares of fabric flat on the floor. Pin the two squares of fabric together all around the holes. And for the length of the skirt, I set the corners pointing in different directions like this. Then stitch the two layers of mesh fabric together with a basting stitch. Now we are going to divide the waistband into four equal quarters. Fold it in half and mark the edges. Then line those marks up and mark the next two folded edges as well. Repeat the same steps on the skirt to quarter mark it too. Now we are ready to sew the waistband with the skirt. For this, line up the quarter marks on the waistband with the quarter marks on the skirt. And then with the right sides of the fabric facing each other, start pinning all around the waistband. To sew them together, you can use as a guide the stitch we have on the waistband. This will also help us to prevent the stitching on the elastic. Remove the pins and turn the skirt right side out. This fabric doesn't fray, but you can search the raw edges together for a clean finish that will enhance the quality of your work. This is the skirt that I wore on my trip to LA. If you haven't seen that video yet, you can find the link in the description box below. I matched this skirt with the strapless crop top I made using the Sally pattern. If you want to learn how to make this beautiful crop top, I will also leave the link to that tutorial in the description box below, where you can easily click it and check it out. Anything that you desire, if you can imagine it, you can create it. So never stop using the power of your imagination to turn the invisible into visible. Remember to subscribe for more videos and thank you so much for sharing this video with whoever you think can be helpful for. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye!